besides being two football stars who became friends while playing for PSG. Slatan Ibrahimovic and David Beckham are two tycoons who have amassed huge fortunes throughout their careers. But have you ever wondered who has the most luxurious life? In this video, you'll see a heated battle between David Beckham and Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Aircraft The two football celebrities don't skimp on comfort when traveling. But who has the best aircraft at their disposal? David Beckham, for example. To get around the world, he owns a Bombardier Challenger 350, a twin-engine turbofan aircraft. The interior of the aircraft is very comfortable, being able to hold up to 16 passengers depending on the configuration chosen. And it is no wonder that to have such a little toy at your disposal it is necessary to invest a real fortune. It is estimated that David Beckham paid around $25 million to acquire it. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, in turn, owns an aircraft of the model Cessna Citation Longitude, a modern executive jet with a turbofan engine and a range of almost 4,000 miles. The interior of the jet is very spacious and luxurious, with a capacity for up to 12 passengers depending on the configuration chosen, which is excellent for a man as tall as Zlatan Ibrahimovic to travel in comfort. And to have the treat of having this private jet always at your disposal is not cheap at all. To get an idea of the price, it is estimated that a new aircraft of this model can cost almost $30 million. Considering the price of the aircraft, Ibrahimovic wins this round. Point for him! Cars Both athletes love to enjoy beautiful cars on a daily basis, but which one invests the most money in cars? David Beckham, for example, owns several vehicles, such as $30,000 Chevrolet Camaro $40,000 Jeep Wrangler $55,000 Hummer H2 $65,000 1998 Jaguar XK8 $80,000 Range Rover Sport $90,000 Cadillac Escalade $110,000 Audi RS6 $115,000 Porsche 911 $130,000 Audi S8 $147,000 Aston Martin V8 Volante $150,000 Ferrari 360 Spider $180,000 Bentley Bentayga $200,000 Aston Martin $210,000 Lamborghini Gallardo $250,000 Bentley Continental Supersports $310,000 Bentley Mulsanne $315,000 Rolls-Royce Ghost And even a Rolls-Royce Phantom, a super stylish large sedan from the famous Rolls-Royce luxury car brand. The interior of the vehicle has an impeccable finish, with first-class materials that bring a lot of sophistication to the environment. And to own such a car, you may have to fork out more than $450,000. But the most expensive car he has ever seen is a McLaren 720S, a super sports car made for those who like speed. To get an idea of its power, the vehicle is equipped with a 720 horsepower V8 engine capable of accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds and reaching a top speed of 212 miles per hour. Not surprisingly, depending on the year, this amazing car can cost upwards of $500,000. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is also passionate about cars. Being sponsored by the automaker Volvo, for example, he is likely to have won an XC90 model vehicle valued at more than $70,000. Another car that is part of his car collection is a Maserati Gran Turismo, a sports car that can be found costing up to $150,000. Moving up the price further, he has already been spotted in a Lamborghini Urus, a rather imposing SUV capable of offering a lot of comfort and safety for its passengers. No wonder its price may exceed the $200,000 figure. It is also speculated that the player has in his garage a Ferrari 430 Spider, one of the car models of the Italian manufacturer that have made more success in the world, with its price evaluated at around $250,000. Slaton has also been seen with a Ferrari 488 Pista, one of the fastest cars made by Ferrari. The vehicle is equipped with a V8 engine and is capable of reaching 211 miles per hour, which is why its price can exceed $350,000. Recently, he posted on his Instagram the little gift that he gave himself. It is none other than a Ferrari SF90 Spider, an incredible car valued at over $600,000. While walking with his son, 
The Swedish player was filmed riding in a Porsche 918 Spider, a beautiful convertible valued at around $800,000. One of the soccer star's most famous cars is his Ferrari Monza SP2, a supercar that he has also been spotted cruising around town several times, and which can cost upwards of $2 million. Even more expensive, it is known that he is one of the few to own a Ferrari Enzo, a car that is rare to find and has become a kind of collectible among car lovers. And maybe that is why its price can reach over $2.5 million. The most expensive car Zlatan Ibrahimovic has ever seen is a Ferrari LaFerrari. It is a stunning vehicle with a modern and futuristic design, capable of delighting anyone who likes sports cars. The little toy is equipped with a super engine capable of accelerating from 0 to 62 miles per hour in less than 3 seconds and can reach a top speed of 217 miles per hour. And it is no wonder that to have this amazing vehicle in your garage, you may need to spend more than $3 million. And for having the most expensive collection of vehicles, Zlatan Ibrahimovic wins this round. Point for him! Mansions when it comes to buying nice properties to live in, the two stars don't skimp. But who owns the most luxurious mansions? Slatan Ibrahimovic, for example, owns a mansion located on a 20,000 square feet plot of land in the city of Malmo in Scania, Sweden. Although there is not much information about the property, it is known that the two-story mansion was purchased by the player in mid-2007 for almost $5 million. When he wants to retire, he has acquired a church to turn into his residence. Located in the Ostermalm district of Stockholm, the capital of Sweden, the property was built at the end of the 19th century and has almost 10,700 square feet spread over four floors. Ibrahimovic has also lived in several mansions, but he preferred to rent them rather than buy them. And according to what has been reported in the media, it is known that the property is undergoing some good renovations, and this cost does not seem to be any problem for Ibrahimovic, as he seems to be willing to invest a real fortune in this unusual dwelling. And to acquire this old church and turn it into his future home, the player, who is nicknamed by his fans a semi-god, needed to invest around 9.4 million pounds. Meanwhile, David Beckham also likes to enjoy a lot of luxury. In 1999, for example, he bought a gigantic 17-acre property that was named Beckingham Palace because it resembles Queen Elizabeth's former palace. The property is known to have sold in 2014 for around $15 million. He has also lived in a spectacular mansion in Beverly Hills, California. This is a masterpiece located on a 35,000-square-foot lot at the top of the hills. The architecture of the house is very modern, and going inside this is no different. The materials used in the finishing, for example, are all top of the line. The residence also has very large rooms, which offer greater integration between the environments. The kitchen, for example, is huge, with a beautiful white countertop in the center, ideal for gathering the whole family. Another interesting point in the house is that there are large glass windows from the floor to the ceiling, which provide excellent natural lighting. In total, the property has 11,200 square feet of built area, distributed in six bedrooms and eight spacious bathrooms. It also has exclusive facilities, such as a gigantic wine cellar and a private cinema with comfortable armchairs. Outside, there is a beautiful leisure area equipped with an incredible infinity pool. All this with a stunning view of the city. And to live in this mansion there is no doubt that it is necessary to spend a real fortune. It is estimated that the property is valued at around $25 million, or you can do the same as David Beckham, who instead of buying, decided to rent, paying around $30,000 a month. But he once owned another even more expensive property in Beverly Hills. Although there is not much information, it is known that the land has approximately 13,000 square feet and was sold in 2018 for a whopping $33 million. The player's most expensive property is located in London, more specifically in Holland Park, one of the regions with the most expensive area in the world. The facade of the house has classic architecture, where David Beckham has already posted a photo installing a decoration. On social networks, some moments inside this residence have already been shared, and it was possible to see that there is a fireplace in the living room where the family usually meets and a gym where his wife usually exercises. And because it is located in one of the noblest regions of the UK, the price of this property is estimated to be over $40 million. As David Beckham has the most valuable mansions, he wins this round.
Point for him. Yacht. Both players love to enjoy their holidays aboard beautiful boats, but who has the most impressive yacht? Slatan Ibrahimovic, for example, owns a super yacht. The player's vessel is the Riva 100 Corsaro model, a large 98-foot-long yacht that features a super modern and futuristic design. The interior is very luxurious, with high-quality materials and a very refined finish, capable of offering great comfort and ergonomics for all aboard. In all, the ship can accommodate up to 20 people divided into five cabins. Going up to the external area of the yacht, there is an excellent open-air space equipped with several armchairs for relaxing. And to acquire this incredible vessel, the player had to invest a real fortune. According to some sources, it is estimated that he had to spend more than $8 million. David Beckham, for his part, also acquired his own vessel in 2021. It is a yacht of the Tele model, a huge 37-meter long, very modern, and luxurious vessel manufactured by the Italian company Custom Line. The interior of the yacht is very spacious and comfortable, being equipped with several rooms, such as living room, indoor dining room, outdoor dining room, garage for jet ski, a gourmet area with sun loungers, and five cabins that can hold up to 10 people. Without a doubt, this boat can provide beautiful moments of fun for its passengers. And that is why David Beckham decided to buy it for about $15 million. And for having a more expensive yacht, David Beckham wins this round. Point for him. Business. Both players are considered great businessmen, but which of them has the most lucrative sources of income? Zlatan Ibrahimovic, for example, owns the Padel Center, a training center focused on the Padel. And because it is considered one of the fastest growing sports in the world, Zlatan made a point of investing in this business model and has already built four units in Sweden, intending to open many more in the coming years. In the soccer business, the player has acquired 50% of the shares in Hammerby, a Swedish first division team. In addition, Zlatan also invests in several other areas, such as his line of cosmetics, which seems to be very successful, since the store's official Instagram has more than 200,000 followers. And as if that were not enough, Ibrahimovic has even launched a mobile app, called Zlatan Legends, where he is the main character who kicks steel balls to save the universe, having all his features based on his real form. And we cannot fail to say that his image can also be considered another big deal for the Swedish giant. Because he is considered a very famous celebrity and admired by his fans, several companies are willing to invest a lot of money to associate their brands with him. On his Instagram, for example, where he has more than 50 million followers, Zlatan Ibrahimovic has already made publics for companies such as Volvo, Visa, and Samsung, among many others. David Beckham, for his part, decided to become a businessman by investing millions of dollars to buy the Inter Miami football team which is part of Major League Soccer, the main soccer league in the United States. Beckham also invests in other businesses. He is, for example, co-owner of Guild Sports, a professional online gaming team. He also has stakes in Lunaz, a company focused on the electrification and restoration of automobiles. And Beckham even invests in Cellular Goods, a manufacturer of cannabis-based products. In the world of advertising, David Beckham has been one of the players who has made the most money from his image. Taking advantage of his beautiful appearance and his name is known all over the world, he starred in campaigns for the biggest companies in the world, such as Armani, Gillette, Pepsi, Jaguar, Adidas, Walt Disney, among many others' brands. And since we don't know how much they make from each deal, we'll consider this round a draw. Points for both! Net Worth Everyone knows that both players have made a lot of money in their careers. But who has amassed the biggest fortune? Ibrahimovic, for example, currently playing for AC Milan, has a salary that is in the range of $8 million per year, which despite being a huge remuneration, is far from being the biggest amount he has ever received. To get an idea, it is estimated that during his time playing at Paris Saint-Germain, Ibrahimovic had a salary that was around $16 million per year. But without a doubt, the time he earned the most money was while playing for Manchester United, where he was paid a whopping $35 million per year. A super salary that would make even other soccer players jealous. And with so many years of high remuneration, Zlatan managed to amass a gigantic net worth. 
to have an idea of values, adding up all his earnings and investments during his whole career. Some sources estimate that Zlatan Ibrahimovic's fortune is around $200 million, not bad, is it? David Beckham, on the other hand, has also managed to amass a huge fortune. To get an idea of his income, when he was a soccer player, for example, he was already considered the highest paid person in the world in 2013. This is because although David Beckham has never been considered the best player in the world, off the field he has always been a commercial success, being a sought-after figure by many brands. It is estimated that only his contract with Samsung, for example, has earned him around $28 million. But his biggest publicity was with the sporting goods manufacturer Adidas, with which he signed a lifetime contract worth approximately $160 million, not counting his percentage of the profits on all their licensed products. And it is no wonder that David Beckham earns a lot more money now retired than while he was a soccer player. Adding up all his other businesses, there is no doubt that he has reached a financial level that would be enviable for any athlete. And even though no one knows for sure what David Beckham's net worth is, according to Fox News, it is estimated that he and his wife together have a fortune of $1 billion. And because he has a higher estimated fortune, David Beckham wins this final round. At the end of this fight, we have three points for Zlatan Ibrahimovic against four points for David Beckham, and he is the winner of this fierce battle. But if you believe that there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write your best justification below. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment, and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, deals to satisfy your curiosity.